All right, this is the first half of the 6.15 p.m. game on Saturday the 20th. My name's Dave Stewart. Um, if you all have any questions uh, from what you hear on the film, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is dstewart at towson.edu. D-S-T-E-W-A-R-T at T-O-W-S-O-N dot E-D-U. Ian, I want you to look at your mechanics on that last illegal screen that you called. Eli, remember your PCA on that last three-point shot? Be a little bit more patient. You don't need to put up the signal to indicate that it was a three-point shot. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Eli, remember when the ball settles on the opposite side of the court, you want to initiate a rotation. We always want to try to have two officials on the same side of the court that the ball's on.
being so quick to bail out on shots. On that last possession, you kind of started to bail out towards the other end and the offense got a rebound and came out of position. So work on being a little bit more patient before you turn and start running down the court. Eli, remember to always post. So out of bounds, arm straight up, open hand. Let everybody know what you're calling. Stop the clock, point to the direction. Scott, get down further as the trail. So a good frame of reference is use around the top of the three-point arc for where you want to be as the trail. So if you're past these white volleyball lines towards midcourt, you're too deep. Like get down deeper, get down deeper, Scott. Sorry. 
Eli on that play, you should come over and get the ball from Ian. So you should be administering this, this throw in right now. So you should have came over and got the ball from Ian. Ian should have bumped down and became the new lead. And Scott, you should have stayed opposite the court as a center. Inbounds plays on the baseline in the front court trail. You also need to have uh, the clock. So make sure you get your hand up and you chop the clock in on an inbounds pass. We had a rotation. We had a rotation. Good job picking up on it, Eli. It just took us a little bit too long to realize it. I want you to go back and look at how the substitutes started coming on the court before you even started reporting your foul. So the players have to wait for you to signal them to come onto the court. And we always want to do that after we report our foul. So in that situation, you just tell them, wait, 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 report your foul, and then say, come on, subs. So Scott, this was a dress on the court, but you'll be able to see it a lot better if you go back and watch on the film. Look at how close you get to the table when you report that foul. You're almost on top of the table. So you don't have to get nearly that close. You can come to you know, the top of the, the circle and you're close enough to report. Don't feel like you have to get right on top of the table.
So overall, good half. Uh, I think we have a few things to work on mechanically and positionally. But overall, good job. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, dstewart at towson.edu.